Hey guys, my name is Chandramani and welcome to this video. This video series is going on for NIS Teaming of Windows Server 2012 RT. It's a new feature of Windows Server 2000, uh, 2012. And we have uh, completed, uh, I think, five parts of this video. And I mean, uh, five parts of this NIS Teaming. And this is the sixth part of uh, NIS Teaming. In this video, we will learn the static teaming. It's really important, one of the mode of uh, load balancing. We will learn it, but I just remem remember you uh, before start this. I just go to the back, like uh, we have learned on the earlier uh, uh, video. That is what the dynamic, right? How the pockets will transport in the two NIS, how it's create the load balancing dynamically. We no need to configure anything, it's manually, right? But now it's the static, we have to do it manually. How is it? it? How we'll do it? We will uh, see in this video but before that i just remember i just remind one thing if you like this video or uh, please uh, i mean do not forget to like uh, press like button on this youtube uh, which uh, is on this below if you want to get this video on your id on your mail so definitely if you subscribe it definitely will get it okay and uh, if you want to any question any comments on this video please put on comment box so again welcome to this video and thanks for watching this video so this video is contains the static teaming what is this actually earlier we have done the dynamic right it's not configure anything it create automatically load balancing right but this is the static it cannot create automatically anything guys it should be static ports of the switch need to be configured cable need to be plugged into the correct ports and once one switch can be used okay and some vendors can combine the switch together allows incoming pockets to the pocket balancing see what i'm telling to you if one pocket so one request will come from here to an ic and it will come to like here okay and again it will come to here it will go to the here and the same switch will go no we it should not be a dynamic it should be everything should be configured by us what is that port should switch need to be configured what are the ports it should be configured in the switch cables need to be properly plugged in the proper you know switch okay you cannot uh, do this in different switches you, uh, you know that is the what we have done then dynamically it should be a static right you have to yeah, everything should be a static and you have to do so this is the what static teaming so i hope these things are not doing uh, you know anybody in our enterprises or uh, uh, production environment but yes it is required maybe in small environment in small enterprises definitely it will be required so it is better to understand and uh, you know uh, the getting the knowledge uh, it's not we are not giving the money right i am also training to i mean just giving this video to total free of cost just i'm telling you just if you wanted to like this if you wanted to get the more video please comment so i definitely will appreciate and give the uh, you know make more videos for you so it will help us and clear and it's totally free no 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 need to give one rupees to me also this training is totally free okay so thanks for watching this video and i will come to you in the next uh, uh, part of this nic teaming and the new uh, learning so definitely will help you so again welcome to uh, to you uh, and thanks to you also for watching this video thanks